For the last six years, cervical cancer rates have been dropping. Now, this is a disease that's treatable if it's caught early. But as WBZ's Dr. Malika Marshall explains, too many women still aren't getting the early screening they need. When Nora Lindo Salmon started feeling intense abdominal pain last year, she went to the doctor. The mother and grandmother learned she had advanced cervical cancer. They said, I have cancer. And I said, I don't believe it's still cancer. The Jamaica native had not received regular gynecological exams. Unfortunately, though, many women, especially underserved women, um, have not seen physicians and they don't get regular screening. Dr. Stella Limberis is a radiation oncologist at NYU Langone Pearl Mutter Cancer Center. She says cervical cancer is treatable if detected early. In Nora's case, she had five weeks of chemotherapy and internal radiation treatment. It's the safest way to deliver radiation so that we can reduce side effects. A new American Cancer Society report estimates about 14,000 new cases of invasive cervical cancer will be diagnosed this year, and more than 4,000 women will die from the disease. Death rates have dropped significantly with increased use of the pap test, and the report shows a 65% reduction in cervical cancer rates in women in their early 20s. That's after the introduction of the HPV vaccine, which protects against the human papillomavirus, which causes cervical cancer. Today, I am wonderful. I'm feeling wonderful. Nora finished her treatment in June and is currently disease-free. She's now encouraging women to get their annual exams and screening. The American Cancer Society says higher HPV vaccination rates have the potential to virtually eliminate cervical cancer. I'm Dr. Malika Marshall, WBZ News.